Milestone Church was launched in 2002 with a simple vision, reaching people and building lives. In April of 2017, we opened the doors to our new Keller campus and immediately saw God moving in extraordinary ways. Our expanded capacity here has allowed us to reach so many new people with the hope of Jesus and a spiritual family to call home. In fact, we very quickly realized that we needed to begin planning our next step. So in 2019, we launched our Beyond campaign to increase our faith and open additional space for even more people. It's always been about ministering to people, reaching people, and of course it takes space to take care of the needs of people. We want to serve them, but when they're in a video venue or they can't get a park, then it's just it's discouraging to think, who knows if that person would be someone that might hear the gospel for the first time or maybe something they're going through in their life. When we think about creating space, it's really very simple. It's for that one person that you might bring or your friend or your neighbor. So we want to be able to, to serve them and it takes space and parking places to do that. You know, the thing I love about Beyond and our people is that every time there's been a need to reach more people, to create space or parking, that the people of Milestone have responded. And what a blessing it is to go to a church where everybody, everybody says, I'm part of the vision. I'm part of making that happen. And how amazing that we all get to celebrate together when people are baptized, when lives are changed. We are currently halfway through the Beyond journey our three-year financial campaign in which you, the people of Milestone Church, generously pledged $15.7 million to expand our parking, commons, kids building, and worship center. Construction has already begun on 763 additional parking spots to the north and east of our campus. This parking project will also enable us to move forward with the construction of our brand new 27,500 square foot kids building with a dedicated entrance for safety, accessibility, and convenient check-in. We are expanding space to serve more people on the weekends, while also enhancing the campus to create an inviting place for you to gather with friends and family throughout the week. We're also adding an additional 23,000 square feet to our commons area to make the building more accessible and much easier to navigate. Most importantly, this expansion will create more space for you to interact with spiritual family and create lifelong friendships. We never set out just to build something that's like a movie that you just come to and you leave. You're building the relationships today that will help you in the storms of tomorrow. Whether it's our stewardship ministry or restore where marriages get healed or youth retreats and youth events and super series and Elevate and teenagers or, or just small groups. It's really been cool seeing people uh, during this COVID season as well, like meeting around the church. Like I've seen a lot of our small groups out on the front patio of the church, socially distanced, having a small group. So I think the fact that this space makes it possible for us to live spiritual family is really, really exciting. One of my favorite pictures of this current project that I always go back to when I've been sharing it with the staff or others is this back porch setting. Most of us have great memories of those back porch moments, you know, but so many sweet conversations happen, so many moments where you can sit down and be quiet for a minute and, and really be able to talk to somebody. Environments create, they create atmospheres for lives to change. Yeah. You know, the Bible says, where two or three are gathered, right. there I am. I look at the photo of the back patio and some of these spaces and a cup of coffee and a fall day and some pumpkins and kids playing around and, and two, two ladies or two people or a group of people or some young adults, you know, having a real spiritual transformation as a result. And the great thing about those atmospheres is that it's not forced. It happens spontaneously and it's just, it's a beautiful thing. I'm excited about it. Moving into the new kids building, you'll see a dedicated entrance that provides increased accessibility and expanded check-in areas. The plan also enhances security to both the new facility and the existing Milestone kids space, which will be transformed into new atmospheres to teach the Bible to our preschool-aged children and grandchildren. 
You know, I'm so excited about our new kids area and new kids building because, I mean, I remember when the ones that were leading us in Next Gen Weekend were in the nursery in the school when we planted the church. I have pictures of them when they're two years old sitting in the nursery and they really like grew up in this environment. They were shaped by leaders that just wanted to pour into the next generation and love them. Across the commons in the new kids building, we have designed an exciting game zone for our older elementary kids featuring a mini basketball court, ga-ga ball pit, nine square, and more. This new space will provide our kids with a safe and fun environment to hang out, have fun, and build relationships. The transition from elementary to middle school is critical, so we've paid special attention to our fifth and sixth grade ministry, also known as 56. Our team has designed a dynamic new space that enhances our ability to provide age-relevant worship, applicable Bible teaching, and small group interaction for these kids in transition. We're also adding a dedicated social space specifically designed for them to hang out and play games, while building relationships with friends and the ministry leaders that will be spiritual anchors in these pivotal years. The largest area of our new kids building will be our elementary theater. This room will be outfitted with age-appropriate technology, creating a fun and interactive environment where kids can worship and learn the Bible from our gifted teachers. This spacious theater also provides adequate space for kids to break out into uniquely structured small group circles, where dedicated leaders will help your kid grow in their faith. And I just think it's such a powerful thing for our children to be in environments where they're, the best is pulled out of them. You know, we've said, you don't have to wait to be great. Yeah. You can be a great kid. You can be a great young adult. You can be a great teenager. And I love it when the kids not only hear that, but they grasp it. And, and start taking it for themselves. So I know that this new space that we're creating is gonna enable us to be able to do this on an even bigger scale. I think the power of spiritual family is that you're not just ministering to kids, but you're raising up sons and daughters, which is a different level of growth, development, and ownership. And so we set out from the very beginning to say we, we don't want to invest ourselves in something that we can't hand off to the next generation because we have a small window in this, you know, and so um, it's really exciting to see that, you know, vision become in, into reality and actually see these young people walking in their callings, walking in their giftings, and some of them now having children of their own is a, is a it's a powerful, it's, real, it's a powerful really thing. I feel like in 56, it's helped me to share my faith with other kids around me. I know my small group leaders believe in me and that makes me feel very happy and very excited for the future and what I could do uh, for the next generation to come. I had a friend who I invited to a small group. She gave her life to Jesus the first night she came to Elevate. Well, I think it's really important to keep God important in our generation and uh, for the future generations. I can say that being here in this building and being here in this environment has very much just changed me forever and marked me and turned me into the man that God really wants me to be. We are so proud of our Milestone family and how you responded to meet the needs of our community this past year in a way that only a growing, loving church can do. You cared for your neighbors, for the elderly, for our first responders and frontline medical personnel. You provided basic necessities and even Easter meals for families in need. You reached out all across our community on Serve Day and found creative new ways to minister through virtual projects like baby showers and school supply drives. Even our blood drives filled up quickly and so many lives were saved through your donations. It's in these times where you're so glad that we didn't build a mob, we didn't build a crowd, but we built a family because families make it through crisis together. The good news of that is, is our foundation has been tested and I believe God showed up and that's exciting. <laughs> the reason we have a need for more space is I believe as our church continues to regather, we're seeing more and more of people come back, but then we've also added all of these new families. And so I just wanna to say to our church family, to all of those that are new to the milestone environment, the need has never been greater for the space to continue to serve and minister to people. This year alone, over 1,000 new people have joined our Milestone family. In response to the incredible work God is doing in our church, we've added weekend services, 
utilized other venues in the city to accommodate large events and offered more frequent Discovery 101 membership classes. The final phase of this BEYOND project will be the addition of 900 new seats to the worship center to create more space for the people God will be adding to our church family. This significant moment as we move into the next phase of this project is just another step in our journey. And what is exciting about it is the book of Ephesians says that as each part does its part, then there's more love. There's more love to go to hurting people, to help single moms, to help families that are on the verge of divorce, to, to see lost people come to know Christ, to see people discipled and developed, to see people make friendships that'll last a lifetime and, and to build spiritual family. So this is another critical step in the continued vision of reaching people and building lives. You know, as somebody that's been through this a few times, and you know, I may be a little bit farther down the road um, with my experience with this than others, maybe not as far as some. You know, every time we come to this faith step, it's a little bit scary. I just want to encourage you that every time we've come to this step, every time we are like, okay, God, what are, what's going to happen if we step out in faith? God has met us. Everyone's on a journey. Everyone is in a process with God and learning to trust His faithfulness. My prayer always is for our people is to listen to what God says, to obey Him and let Him transform them in the journey. It's always an exciting thing to say yes to Jesus because He never lets us down, He always provides.